Welcome to Avery's Review and in today's video we'll be doing an unboxing of my Empire Ears which has been modified to a custom version at iSlab. Now before we begin with this video uh, and if this, this is your first time joining us then do hit the subscribe button it does help me very much as I am trying to hit 1000 subscribers. Uh, once I've hit the 1000 subscribers challenge I am actually giving uh, Billie Jean in -ear monitor away one of those lucky subscribers. This is a 2BA driver. At the moment, it's just still unboxed. I am sure I'm going to unbox it first before I actually do a giveaway. So yes, do hit the subscribe button. It might be you. And it does help me to know that I am actually improving in, on my channel. Now, before I begin the unboxing of my custom Empire Ear Zeus R version of, from iSlab, I just want to show you what it's like when I actually had the original universal version. You can see from this video here that this is my original and modified universal Empire Ear Zeus R. It has four BA drivers. Um, it is the R version. There is a normal version as well. I do actually have the mass drop version, which I'll show you in a little while. You can see that the drivers, or the, um, the any monitors here, has 14 BAs and it is a universal judo effect it's going to eat tip on the f at the end of the nozzle. It's just a CM cable attached and this is an 8 braided one. So that is my original Empire Ear Zeus R when I first purchased it. Coming to the next part of the video, um, one of the days that I went to work, suddenly my right side of the IEM actually fell onto the floor and it made a crack. This is what it eventually looks like when it actually fell onto the concrete floor. I think the reason that this happens due to the fact that since I'm sometimes changing cables quite often, the connectors part has came loose, but this is now what it internally looks like from inside the Empire Ear Zeus. You can see the drivers and all the cables are connected, so since it was quite damaged and there was a big crack on the right side of my any monitor. One of the things that I thought I could do in order to preserve it as this was one of, of the IEMs that I definitely use quite often and enjoy the most would be to take it to a shop in Hong Kong as to get it fixed. So this is the reason why I have now have an ice lab box in front of me. So overall I went to ice lab at the start of the summer, it took about maybe two and a half months to three months for iSlap to actually modify the universal any monitor to become a custom version. So what they had to do was first of all take in my ear impression, which was quite painless. This is actually my second time doing a custom version. I do have an A18, which I'll show you probably in a later video. So having took two and a half months to about three months, which is what they specified anyway. So due to the fact that it was quite complex putting the 14, the 14 BA drivers inside the custom uh, mode, I actually had it in red and blue. And this is what the final product looked like. Um, as you can see, this costed me about 2,200 to get everything done. So roughly speaking, the e impressions, the mode, the colors, which I selected. Um, suddenly, as you can see from this picture, the red did not come out as dark as I wanted. And also the other blue side was also too light for my favor. So what happened was the fact that I actually tested it for a week due to the fact that I had the code at that time, the custom version felt a bit strange on my left ear. But once a week passed, I tested it fully. It seemed to fit much better. So just to remind you guys, for those who are getting accustomed, if you have a cold, uh, that could actually ear impression quite badly. As I first thought, it wasn't that good at, at when I first got it. But I'm happy to say it does now fit perfectly and it feels very comfortable. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with the 2,200 spent on what I'm, I got here. However, I, I didn't like the final color of what it, this product looked like. 
So I talked it back to Icelab and asked them if they can do anything about the faceplate. And I added about another 200 Hong Kong dollars on to what I already paid to get the final product, what I have now in front of you. So here we have the final product, the final ear, the final custom version of the Empire Ears Zeus R that was done by Icelab. Uh, I just want to clarify, this is the Empire Ear Zeus. There is actually a mass drop version, which I also have too. This is the R model. Um, the Empire Ears one is the normal version, which also contains 14 BA drivers. And this is roughly what it looks like of the mass drop one. This is about 1,000 US dollars, which I paid in full using my own money. Um, this is what a universal would look like. You can see that it does have the spin fit, which I prefer. The cable obviously is my own, uh, not the one that they supplied, because um, these cable are much better, of course, than the ones provided. Um, for those who are not aware of this, Mastrop is actually having a discount right now of the Empire Ears for 750 US dollars. You decide if it's worth it, I do recommend it. It has fantastic sound and instruments, detail, separations, everything's in there. And it's on now 750 US dollars, which is probably definitely worth it because I paid 1000 for it. So this is the Empire Ears. Empire Ears logo here. Uh, this is the universal mass drop version, as you can see. Let me put this away as that is my objective is not to show you the universal one, but I thought I'll show you. So, so this is the normal version, not the R version. The R version still has 14 BA drivers, it's slightly different sound signature. So I'll put this on the side. So the ice lab took three months and a bit due to the fact that I had to get it, the faceplate changed. It comes in a box when I got it from them. Uh, it's just a hard box, nothing fancy. Cardboard feel, bit of cover there. Um, this is my own cable. I am using the previous cable that I used earlier. But however, for final custom, Empire Ears Zeus R has now looks like. You can see that this is like a purple shade. It is still see through here. And the faceplate looks purplish, dark black. While on the other side, I went for a slight greenish with a hint of purple so this is it is still cm and you are able to change it to mmcx or cm or another cable connector i stick with this um, cm version due to the fact that i do have a couple of cm cables hence the reason why i want to maintain that you can see that there is no e-tips anymore it fits perfectly due to, and it only fits in my ear to the fact it is modified to my ear impression. You can see the drivers and the cables. And when you put it inside, you have to actually twist it to get it into your ears. And then also this way as well, to get it into your ears with a small nudge. And that is roughly how to put in a custom IEM. Are you able to see the slight difference? This is the purple side. There is a slight green of hint. Uh, I'm sure this video is not doing any justice to what it's actually, what I am actually seeing from me. Anyway, hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, as I mentioned, do hit the subscribe button as it will help me very much. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.